some inflammation, especially around his right eye. And... Okay, so I want to go over a couple of improvements that I've made in the cab of the truck. Um, and these are just little niceties, but I want to make sure that everybody that's following and that's doing like similar work on their truck has all the information they need. So, you know, I've put these uh, tow mirrors on the truck here. Okay, so we've talked about these in the past. Now these were, um, I bought them online. They are extendable, these arms right here, so the mirrors can go in and out. It's got the, uh, the magnified portion down here and then the standard portion up there. I don't know what you call that, the magnified version. Um, so when these were mounted on the truck, I did have to do some modification. Now, there were one, two, three mounting posts that are part of the new mirror. And they had a long um, post with a bolt on the end that comes through your door frame and then you put nuts on it. So there were not holes that lined up um, for all of these. There were some, but not all of them. So I had to drill these holes using a step drill bit, you know, the ones that are shaped, uh, they're, they're brass colored and they're shaped like a step with a bunch of varying diameters. So I had to use that drill bit and drill holes through the door frame um, so that these mirrors could mount. So not a big deal. Um, then uh, these, the bolts that were a part of the mirrors actually stuck out pretty far. So they actually came out about this far. They were very long. And so for the longest time, I did not have this cover put back on here because it wouldn't fit because those bolts were protruding so far that these plastic covers would not go back on. And so what I did was I just kind of packed these away in the truck and I carried them with me. Now about a month ago, um, I got on a let's fix things kick for a couple of days and I was digging around. These were stored underneath my bed in that storage cabinet in there. And I was in there pulling out something and I came across these and I said, let's figure these out. Okay. So came over and I started looking and I said, well, really the, the only reason why these are not back on here is because these bolts were protruding too far. So I said, okay, I got two options. I can drill holes through this cover that lets the bolts protrude, ugly, right? Wouldn't have looked very good. Or I can see about cutting these bolts off. And that's what I ended up doing. I got out here with my Dremel tool. I, I brought my Dremel tool kit with me. Um, I put a cutoff wheel in the Dremel tool and just came out here and cut through these three bolts on both sides and that and I wasn't even sure that that was going to work I didn't know if just having these nuts was also not going to allow the cover to go on but from what I saw when I kind of fitted up here it looked like it was going to work so this is held on by a, a metal snap clip right there that goes into this hole here and then at the bottom you see this Sorry about that. It tucks behind right here and holds the bottom in. So after these were trimmed off with the Dremel tool, which was pretty simple to do, I was able to start that down there. I kind of looked back here, lined it up, boom. And that is on there. And I had to pop it back off to shoot this video. And it was really difficult to get off. That that sprung clip that's right there, that really holds these things in here. So I've got these back on both sides, really improved the look inside. 
and took another thing off my list of projects that was hanging over my head. So I, I hopefully have pulled up some video clips of me in the cab of the truck where these covers were not here and you can see uh, you can see those bolts sticking out. Um, so I'll have those clips running while we're talking about this. But uh, much, much improvement. Now the other nicety improvement that I did was these sun visors. Now, when I was at the sugar beet harvest, and I'm going to pause, left. Okay, the other improvement that I made was the sun visors. Now, I'm also hopefully going to find a video clip to put in here that shows what the sun visors looked like. I bought these. I found them on eBay. They're used. Um, I had them uh, shipped to me to replace what was on there. And I, like I said, I hopefully can find a video clip that shows them. When I was at the sugar beet harvest back in September and October, and I had to go to work, and Lefty remained in the truck. And because of the setup, the way we were, I actually had the truck right at the work site, and you could see the truck from where I was working. So he was right, he was about uh, 100 yards away, sitting in the truck. And I actually think that that worked against me because he would sit in the truck up in the cab and he could see me off in the distance and he would go crazy. He would bark, bark, bark. Now compare that to when I leave him in the truck and I just go into the store or something. He lays down in the front seat and goes to sleep. Because when I come back out from the store, he's just sitting there nice and calm. But I think because he could see me, he just barked and went crazy and he actually kind of ate, didn't eat them, but he chewed up both of the sun visors. Um, this one, he ripped every bit of foam covering off of it. And what was left was kind of a, a piece of underlying, like uh, it's particle board or press board that these are wrapped with foam. That was all that was left. This one was totally stripped. And then this one, he took a couple of really good bites out of the foam uh, right down to the wood underneath. So both of them were ruined. And I drove around like that for quite a while because I, I was like, okay, it's not really the end of the world. But then finally I went ahead and ordered these. Now, Now, when I bought those sun visors off of eBay, and at the time I was moving around a lot, so I had them shipped to New York to my folks' house because um, uh, they had shipped me a couple of boxes of things here and there. So I had, I had the sun visors shipped to my folks' house and several other things. I don't remember what they are at this point, but um, so they collected up all of these items and put them in a box and finally sent them to me at an address I gave them down in Quartzsite at the mail forwarder that I used. So for whatever reason, even though they addressed it the same way all the time, when she went to the post office, the guy at the counter said, that's not a correct address. The street in Quartzsite is... Okay, so when... Sorry, I keep getting interrupted by Lefty Parkin. So when uh, mom took the box to the post office, the guy behind the counter said, that's not a correct street. There is no West Cowell Street, even though that's the address. And he changed it. And so the box got to Quartzsite, and this is probably the third one she had sent me. It got to Quartzsite and they rejected it and turned it around. So it took it like 12 days to get there. Then it took it like 13 days to get back to New York. Then she took it back to the post office, told them about the error. The guy said he'd reship it, no charge. Took like 13, 12 or 13 days to get back to Quartzsite. And then I finally got it. So it was, it was a month and a half, just about a month and a half to get the box with the sun visors in it. Um, I mean, they were definitely worth the wait and I installed them right away, but uh, what a pain in the butt, right? So, quick update for those of you that know lefty i've been putting those drops in his eyes i just 
clean them. So you can see he's got some some inflammation, especially around his right eye. And um, but he's he's not pawing at it. Uh, so hopefully it's helping him feel better. This is just day two of putting the drops in. Um, so I'm hoping he gets fixed up real soon here. So, so that's it. Couple of improvements to the truck and my new sun visor uh, for the cab from Bob. Thank you so much again, Bob. I super appreciate it. So any of you that want to get a sticker, look in the description. There's a link. There's also t-shirts available. Um, please leave me a comment if you got anything to say about the video. I want to read your comments. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it and a thumbs down if you don't. Take care, everybody. We'll talk again soon.